All righty, welcome back to two, the T Sports Talk podcast. We are here at Lawrence High School with Amateur Sports Club, uh, the Raider Classic, and we got a OG. OG, that's a good one. On the oh, we do. We got an OG. We got an OG. We got an OG. We got an OG over here. So I'm gonna give him some hand claps, and I'm gonna give him a Don DeMarco because. It was our one of our first or second. I can't. I gotta go back and look. It's been that long. Yeah. Since uh, he was on the on the podcast, but he was our first or second one, second guest that we ever had on our podcast. Dropped so, some nuggets too. Yeah, it was a really good one. Yeah, too. It was a good one, and um, and so we were just just joking with staying off the um, off the air before we got on there, how we've come a long way, but he's still continuing to do the same things that he's been doing. And that's developing kids to be better athletes. Mm-hmm. Not even just be better athletes, but helping young men to be better young men. Oh yeah. So um, his his trail has continued to blaze as he's continued to do that. And uh, so uh, we just talked to um, Tyrese. Tyke. Tajay. Tajay. Tajay Jones. We just talked to Tajay Jones, and um, he kind of broke down the game and his perspective and so we wanted to talk to you because uh sounds like the the kids came from behind to win that game just wanted to get you to talk a little bit about uh that game and then just talk about a little bit about au basketball and the development as i know that you actually coach here at lawrence high school as well mm-hmm. so you you you're working with probably some different guys that you normally don't work with mm-hmm. Um, and so what you guys are trying to get out of, and I know it's a lot, but we're going to kind of let you just have the mic, man, because okay. um, you, you, you you are OG. This ain't, <laughs> this ain't nothing new for you. Yeah. Like I said, he said, I don't mind you talking. I don't mind talking. All right, well, Coach Stan, tell us a little bit about the game. The first thing I want to do is uh, thank you guys for having me. Uh, it is really awesome to have this outlet to talk about uh, uh, AAU basketball and youth sports, yeah. and it really means a lot to these guys and these kids. I'm watching them as they're interviewing with you, and it makes them step a little bit higher once they get up out this chair. Right, right. So thank you guys for being here. We really appreciate what you guys have done, not only for the sport, but for the community. Uh, Today we did pull out a a come-from-behind win. Um, What we're trying to do down here with our guys is um, we're trying to get our guys together and develop chemistry, but also do some early development and teaching before we get into the season. Um, We've taken, we're trying to take a page out of the Bobby Bentley a uh, burned football blueprint. Yeah, it is. Because what he did, and people don't Man. remember, is he came in, he sold his program to the whole community. The whole community. He had little yeah. rebels all the way up. We're trying to do that down here in Lawrence, uh, and it's, it's really uh, encouraging because we have six middle schools that all feed into one high school. Yeah. yeah. And that means that you don't have to worry about, you know, kids going to here or there or wherever. And so we're able to identify and develop at the same time. Uh, there have been some challenges, though, because with any kind of uh, development or stuff like this, uh, everybody ain't on board. No. Yeah. You know, yeah. so that, you know, uh, we're not the kind of people that's going to get discouraged by, by that. We're going to take what, the ones that we have. We're going to roll with those and the other ones can watch and pay to watch us play. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But today, our guys really came from behind. Uh, you guys both know me, and you know that what we teach is defense. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, everybody can score, but who are you gonna stop? Yeah. So uh, Landrum had a really good score in that first uh, half. Uh, he he really came out and he was lighting it up. But then we just made a concentrated effort to make somebody else beat us. They are a re- really good team, but if we hang our identity on playing defense, then we're going to win a lot of ball games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and, and, and um, Mr. Jones kind of talked about that when he said um, it was a game of runs mm-hmm. and they started out hot early mm-hmm. and then they actually kind of the momentum kind of shifted and they dug deep mm-hmm. and defensively and, and then got out of it and, and ended up pulling out the win. Yeah, Tajay is, is definitely one of our leaders, and, and his responsibility is – to, he has the ability at any given time to take the game over. Mm-hmm. But he also is learning 
when to do that, mm -hmm. you know, when to do that, but also when to set up with other people. And also, he sets the mental tone for our team. Mm. He is a very mentally tough guy, yeah. and he sets the mental tone for our team. They look at him, and they – so if he ever – and I've never seen him do it. If he ever gets discouraged or anything like that, then the team is going to follow that. Yeah. But he has a toughness that uh, that's hard to teach. He, he seems very mature. He is. He yeah. really is. He's played – well, he was playing varsity before I got here. Yeah. And he is also an awesome, awesome football player. Yeah. But he is very mature, and I think that maybe that has something to do with his family dynamic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. Uh, one of the things that I'm learning, and you did mention earlier, the style, uh, the, uh, the the type of uh, families that I deal with here in Lawrence are different than the ones that we had in Eastside. Oh, yeah. for sure. You know, yeah. for a lot of different reasons. Yeah. Yeah. So when you look at some of the family dynamics that these kids on a day-to-day -day basis have to go through, mm -hmm. um, it, it, it helps you understand kind of uh, what their mentality is or what their temper yeah. temperament is. Yeah. And uh, I I know <clears throat> I know this not to kind of get all religious or whatever. I was sent here for a reason. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, I was sent to this school for a reason to 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 mentor or meet some kids, and maybe I've met them, maybe I. Have yeah. But I know that I'm where I'm supposed to be. So right. uh, these guys played really hard. And every one of those guys, with the exception of one, which is my oldest grandson, Miles, he actually goes to Malden. But every one of those guys go, go to here to Lawrence. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's going to be good for him, too. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Because we're um, – the the uh, we're in or Fountain Inn and all mm -hmm. that's in the same region mm -hmm. now, so mm -hmm. I think that's going to be really good for this community mm -hmm. and from Fountain from Lawrence to Fountain Inn. I think that's going to be a really good like uh, rival rival the the start. Yes. Um, I think that's going to be really good for this area. Well, we already have like a built-in crosstown rival with Clinton, right. but our next rival, even going up the road, is not only Fountain Inn but Hillcrest. That too, you know, yeah. because with this area being so close to Fountain Inn, Simpsonville, a lot of these kids they. Uh, uh, they go to the mall with each other or they yep. hang out with each other. Or yep. now that social media is, is oh, involved, yeah. they don't really even have to leave their living room to kind of <laughs> interact, you know? No. So, you know, now the uh, um, I, I will tell you that the two of our biggest games last year were Clinton and Fountain Inn. Yeah, I remember that game. Yeah. In here. I, yeah. I remember, and then I think the JV game was a buzzer beater, and that was an insane <laughs> game. Oh, yeah. And yeah. And social media, because you, you, know? you see Coach Stan <laughs> yeah. running around yeah. in a circle. Yes, and I yeah. was like, why is it? That I'm here every time there's going to be a freaking buzzer beater or something like that. I literally thought it was going to happen again. I literally did. I, I, I'll tell you about that game, and, 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 and both of you are coaches, so you'll get what I'm saying. We had played Fountain Inn. That was the second game of a back-to-back. Uh, -back. So we, we really pounded them in the head the first game. Mm -hmm. So we played them the next. And they really came out, and to their credit, they really played us hard. Yeah. Um, I think we took for granted what we did the night before. Mm -hmm. So it was five seconds left before that shot, and it was right before Christmas break. Mm -hmm. So mentally, as a coach, I'm saying to myself, okay, let me go to the locker room and talk to these guys about don't worry about the loss. Don't, you know, we, you know don't, don't worry about it. It's all good. Yeah. Enjoy your Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, that joker hit that buzzer beat. <laughs> Man, that thing went through. <laughs> Man, it was crazy because as soon as he let it go, I was like, that's going in. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you look, if you ever get a chance to look at the video, he knew it was going in. Yeah. Because I think when everyone he shot knew. it, he stayed with it. Yeah. He stayed. And man, when that thing went through, boy, I, it's giving me chills. <laughs> Rethinking about it, it yeah. was yeah. It was That's literally, wild. it was literally like slow motion. It was yeah. like I literally, because Berkeley was sitting next to me. I was like, I, I was like, oh yeah, that's going. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and that's another thing for these guys to be able to. Uh, learn how to fight to the buzzer. Yeah. You know, because you know that no game is over until it, the no. buzzer is no. over, right. you know? Yeah. And uh, teaching our guys that every win is not going to be easy. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. uh, that's how you build, to me, that's how you build a, a, a program and a culture. Yeah. You know, because we've coached some teams in the past, if we would have been down and they inbounded the ball, we probably wouldn't even have guarded. Yeah. You know, it's just been like, whatever. Just, yeah. you know. Yeah. You know. So uh, these guys down here, are, are, they're working hard. I, I am making a proclamation right now. Uh, next year, the region championship is going to have to come through Lawrence. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I'm telling you right now. So okay. if you're listening to this, I, I, how y'all say, no cap? <laughs> <laughs> I got, hold on. Uh, I got oh, you. Oh, my no mama. Cap. Oh my mama! <laughs> oh my mama! <laughs> oh my mama! The region championship is coming through LA, man. I'm telling you something right now. It's coming through LA. It's coming, coming through LA. LA. Listen, we've nicknamed our gym the Dungeon. 
Oh, right. okay. okay. We play that Dungeon D. You heard? Okay. Me? <laughs> dungeon D. No Diddy. No Diddy on no that. No Diddy. We don't want no nobody Diddy. locked up in the dungeon um, playing and giving them the D. Yeah. <laughs> but, I want to give a really quick shout out to Fran and that organization for putting on this this tournament. Yeah. Do you know one of the highlights of my day is over in the small gym? There are two coaches, Coach Tim Williams, who's coaching the Wildcats, and Coach Joseph Reed, who is coaching the Croc Center uh, Alpha Beast. Oh wow. I was their first coach ever. Mm. Oh wow! So the, the coaches, I was there, they played for you. They played for me at in Anderson. Oh wow! Yeah, and they both were probably about eight years old. That's wow. crazy. Wow. <laughs> but, but you know what? To say that it goes like we said, CJ Dove, and he said you were the OG, and that just yeah. was not anything new. Which again, that moniker is it was not something that we were just just BS about it. that's like the truth like you've been at this thing for a long time you've seen it you got a heart for kids you got a passion for coaching you got a passion for not just the sport but the development and again a lot of people don't benefit from the shade mm. of the trees of the seeds that they planted okay yeah that's but, good. but to watch the fruition of that seed come to bear yeah that's 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 special, yeah. man. You you can't take that lightly. Can't take that for granted. Yeah. And you got to be proud of of, of 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 that. You know, like somebody had to water the seed. Yeah. Some other things had to. Yeah. But you put the seed in the ground. Uh, so that's big. right now. That as I'm getting older, and 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 there would have been a time when I frowned on the phrase OG because of the O part. Yeah, yeah. But but what happens is this now. That no, I'm no, older, we this OG is original yeah, gangster. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, now that I'm older, I appreciate because I look at kids like CJ. Yeah. Yeah. Tim and I see I see them all over the place, and they're doing good. Yeah. You know what I mean. Right. And while you don't take credit for them doing good because they still got to do good. Yeah. You you I I'm thankful for the access I've had in their life. Oh yeah. That that's Takes what I'm village. thankful for. You know. So when 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 I see them, you know, I don't want to go. Oh, I, I made. No, you know what? I just thankful I had access in your life. Yeah. yeah. Man. And hopefully something I said you remembered, or maybe more important than that. Maybe you watch the way I carry myself. Right. Yeah. It's, it's funny you say that because I was just talking to someone right here. I was watching y'all's game, and he was like, he's like, Coach Stan's got so much energy or whatever. I say, yeah, he's been that way since I, he was coaching me. And, then, and the guy was like, well, that's how you know it's genuine. I was like, well, yeah. I mean, he hasn't changed. He's been the same. I don't know any other way to do it. <laughs> I don't know any other same. way. I, I tell people that's the reason that Coach Stan don't get technicals. If you get a technical, they make you sit down. <laughs> <laughs> I can't coach sitting down. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get a technical because I don't want to sit down. Right. You know. But you guys are doing such a great job, man. And and this is so exciting. Um, if if I can, I, I want to take a moment to kind of give some people information about a tournament that we're going to be hosting. Oh yeah, sure, 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 yeah. sure. So yeah. much. Listen, on July the 13th, we're going to be hosting a, a, a tournament down here. Um, a lot of information is going to come out. But I need all of my friends and the programs that we supported over the years, whether it's Hardwood Inc the Upstate Warriors, uh, PSA, uh, Tiger Elite, uh, Dribble for Destiny. I need you guys to come on down here on uh, July the 13th. We're going to be uh, hosting a tournament. We haven't even named it yet. Okay, I was literally but, yeah, about to we, write the name yeah. down. But what's going to happen is that you guys that follow me on social media, I'm going to uh, have flyers coming out. But the main thing I need is just come on down here and support, play some good basketball. We're going to have these guys back out here to, to really get you guys some coverage. But uh, we just need your support because uh, what we're actually doing is – we're taking our high school team to Jacksonville, Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, Mozzie Drummond down there with San uh, Jose Prep. Mm -hmm. He's doing that Louis uh, Golden Alzheimer tournament. And so we're taking our teams down there, and this is a big opportunity for these kids, excuse me, in this area to have that opportunity to go and to yeah, experience it. For sure. Uh, but we want to, to make sure that the community has an opportunity to support that as well. So you guys will be hearing more about that on July the 13th. Come on down and support. I appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, yeah, all right. <laughs> and what I'm going to do, too, I'm going to just chop that little segment right there, mm -hmm. and I'm going to put that on my store, on our store or whatever, yeah. and then I can, I'll do that, too. So you don't have to, like, sift through the whole yeah. right. the whole uh, interview to see that. But right. I'll, I'll make sure we'll get that part out. I appreciate y'all. Cue it up, CJ. And hey, listen, here we go. Two to T Sports. SC Phenoms at SC Phenoms on Instagram. You can follow them and see the things they're doing. If you got a kid that uh, that's just thinking about basketball, maybe next year or whatever, a program, great program to join. Yeah.
Coach Dan Carpenter, Thank JB so University much. coach Thank here you. at Lawrence High School, also uh, assistant with Coach Flood, uh, uh, Flood there at the varsity level, and all the things and being active in the community. We appreciate you. Thanks for stopping by. We thank you for all that you're doing and all the seeds that you're planting and all the things that you're doing. It takes a village when you're working with kids and you've been in their lives. So we appreciate you being the village people. And uh, we thank you for all that you're doing, man. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Go follow up to T Sports. Thank you.